morning, everybody. Hope everybody had a good night. Um, and I have a short uh, talk this morning to start, um, asking the question about um, inserting these nails in children. Is it safe? We all know that there's always a risk of avascular necrosis if you do a femoral nailing in a child. So what about, uh, what's the story with these lengthening nails? Uh, is it safe to put them in uh, children? So, uh, anti-grade nailing uh, in the immature femur can damage the capital femoral epiphysis blood supply, and that leads to the dreaded complication of avascular necrosis. And the closer you are to the piriformis area, where the medial lateral circumflex arteries and astomose the more risk there should be. Uh, what's the literature say? Going way back to 1994, Jim Beatty was the first one to publish on this, a case report about avascular necrosis of the femoral head after fracture nailing. And you can see where the nail was inserted here in a typical piriformis approach and the AVN that resulted. And that that's, uh, finding has been repeated in at least four other publications since Beatty's publication. So is it possible that if we change the entry point, we can mitigate this problem? So this is the piriformis entry, which is the danger zone. Then this is the greater trochanteric entry site. And then there's what's called the lateral greater trochanteric, or the far lateral entry site um, over here. And it would seem to, that the further lateral you go, uh, the safer it will be. And in fact, uh, some of the companies now have come up with uh, nails that are specially designed for pediatric trauma. This is a Biomets nail, a pediatric locking nail system, and it's designed with a rather large Herzog bend here. This is Orthopediatrics PD nail, which also has a, a pronounced bend and designed for a lateral trochanteric entry. So what does the literature say about that? Um, despite the fact that some of these uh, had greater trochanteric entry sites, there's still a certain rate of avascular necrosis. This is 1.4%, 2% for the piriformis entry, and none for the lateral greater trochanteric entry. And this article by Stans from the Mayo Clinic uh, described 7.5%, one out of 13 cases with a greater 